this is so scary. Right, you're going somewhere you've never been before, new country, new city, whatever. You get on TripAdvisor, you're searching for a hotel, and you see all those one-star reviews, and you read the comments, and you just think, well, the hotel can't possibly be that bad. In this series, we're going to go and find out. We went to Blackpool. We booked into the Singleton House Hotel. It cost £42 for a triple room. <laughs> they had one star from four reviews. I've seen better dog kennels. Needs knocking down with the owner inside. Disgusting. This is a brothel. Would not keep a flea in here. So as you can imagine, I was thrilled. Right, uh, it's coming up on this street. Oh my god, this seemed like a great idea at the time, and now it seems terrible! It's here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh mate. Oh my god, what are we doing? You're now gonna have to come in with me because we've parked nowhere near and I don't want to go in on my own. <laughs> oh, no. It seemed like a great idea the other day when we were like, yeah, yeah, what we'll do is we'll park outside and you can film it from outside and I'll go in on my own. So we get to the front of this hotel. We walk in, knock on the front door, nothing. Ring the doorbell, nothing. Did it a couple of times. Then read uh, phone a number. So we phone this number, goes to voicemail. Blackpool hotels can't take our call right now. Oh dear. Then my phone goes and out of nowhere, at the top of the street, through the fog, appears this short gentleman. Any customer, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't get... Can you get that customer over here? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, look. Okay, come over here. <laughs> he sends us round the corner, like a good two blocks away from the actual hotel that we were staying in, round the corner to reception. Reception feels like it used to be a creche. It definitely used to be something else. So you for one night, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. No problem. We've got us over the hotels and it's just trying to get you one for you in person. No problem. He then decided that we weren't going to stay in the Singleton House Hotel, we were actually going to stay in Casa Seashell Hotel. Luke, myself and <laughs> traips back down the street for two blocks. Tries the key in the door, nothing. He then rings a man called I've um, got customers for Casa but the front door is locked. So we all traips back up to the reception area. 20 minutes later, Appears. Sorry about this. It's alright. Are you ready? Yeah. He's got the keys, so he takes us back down to the Casa Seashell Hotel. Is there nobody else staying in this building then? Very good. Oh, you're so oh wow. Can you be so? <laughs> Do our best. So the place is empty, it's just us. Like, was he being serious? I'm saying what? Welcome to room 8C at £42 a night. It's freezing cold. We walked through the front door. It stinks. It just smells musty and other f***ing disgusting. Old and damp. We've been waiting for 35 minutes to get the keys for this room. There's... Somebody's graffitied on the wall. That's the Wi-Fi password. Are you having... That's the Wi-Fi password. Let's walk our way around the room. Let's just look at the decor. Like... There's, it's so damp in here that in between every line of the wallpaper, it's just off coloured. Look at the ceiling. Oh, look at the corner. What is that? What is that? There's all of this Ming that looks like tea or coffee or heaven only knows what. Is this a funhouse mirror? No, I just think it's, it's So there is actually a radiator in here, but it doesn't work. So we've got this to plug in, and the cable isn't quite long enough for it to sit anywhere but on the bed. This is just all manner of wrong. Oh, I've touched another thing. This is the bathroom. So there's literally like live cables. Look, what is that? That is an actual wire sticking out the wall. There's no hot water. The hot water tap just comes off. Let's look at what is this? Is a toilet situation? It's like a bit of plastic. Come on, flush the toilet. Stop. <laughs> I didn't, you've made me touch it now. <laughs> look at the shower, look at it. I can't stay here. Shall we phone him and tell him that there's no hot water? I feel like we're dealing with this very well. 
Hi, it's John. Uh, we're, we're just, hi, you all right, mate? Uh, we're just wondering how to how to get hot, uh, hot water. The hot water tap seems to have, have come to bits. Right. Um, I'll have, I'll have one to get it. Um, you'll be back soon. Oh, God, it stinks. What, the water? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, mate. You see the shop? Uh, we've got to have a room because the tap's broke. It's not the shower, it's the tap. I don't know what they've done. I've never seen a tap broke like this before. <laughs> we we walked in, it was like that, mate. We haven't broken it. So, I'll, I'll come down and get a key then, mate. Alright, cheers, Ta. Get you a different room. I've never seen a tap break like that before. Honestly, it was like that when we walked in. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. It's pissing me off that the cleaners ain't noticed. Yeah. We've just essentially been accused of breaking the tap. He was accusing me of breaking he the was, tap. Yeah, he was like on the You've phone. You've been here for five minutes. I don't know what they've done to it. Who do you think we are? We're not that type. <laughs> Our power lock has just been again. New room. We're keeping this one as well. There's no way it's going to be hot water. There's no way. It's definitely not. Definitely not. Oh god, this is so scary. Not that scary. Oh. I've just yet to understand what this building is all like. They've just crammed in as many rooms as they can in a weird space. Oh my god, if you lost your footing. You, you could on. step in the toilet. What is weird is the fact that I feel like I've got relative comfort and safety in this little room that we've been given. Yeah. Considering somebody thought it was a brothel, mm -hmm. somebody thought it was disgusting and needing knocking down, and all those other things, this isn't as bad as it could have been. But this isn't that hotel. But this isn't that hotel. What we should do now is find this hotel on TripAdvisor and see what people have said about it. Reviews of the Casa Seashell Hotel. 1.5 stars from four reviews. Do not go there. It literally just says, do not go there. It stinks, is damp ridden and filthy. Not too bad for lads weekends. Yes, it is bad for lads weekends. Oh, it was grim. It was just grim. Luke's are at ironing services. They can do it for you, or you can do it yourself, but either way, it's 50p an item. I'll leave that with you. It gets to bedtime and there's not a cat in hell's chance I'm getting in that bed. Luke, on the other hand, he was happy. Larry brought full on outfit, getting in bed, getting tucked up. I went out to the van, found a spare jacket that I had in the back. And literally just lay it up, put all my clothes on and just lay on top of the bed. I went to sleep while well, attempted to go to sleep. And to be fair, I reckon I would have slept through had it not been for Luke snoring. Cold was also pretty bad, but yeah, your snoring just kept me awake all night. Sorry. Mm. Oh god. We've officially stayed in the worst hotel in Blackpool. Let's get these keys back to whoever they belong to and get me gone. Right, this is it. Thank you, Blackpool. You stay in any other brand of hotel and there's a bed that's nice and comfortable and there's heating and hot water and water taps that don't smell and the shower works and it's not mouldy and it's not freezing cold and there are other people in the building. You're not in a hotel on your own. And that's it. It's just undramatic. How many stars out of five would you give it? I don't even think it deserves one. I don't believe that place should exist. Zero stars. Oh my god! There it is. Oh my god! It's like bullseye. Here's what you could have had. But do you know what? 
what would we have made at a travel lodge? We would have got into a travel lodge, it would have been a normal night, just like we're working on any other project. It would have been normal. It would not have been the excitement and the adventure that we've had staying in Casa what is it called? Casa Seashell. Casa Seashell. Casa Seashell. I've had a wash. I feel so much better. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Worst Hotel. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave us a comment down below the worst hotel you've ever stayed in, because maybe we'll go and stay there in a future episode. Join us next week for another episode of The Worst Hotel.